when he was going back to school at Florida State, that's when I picked up. I said, I need, some, I need something to do. And I woke up one day and I was like, I need a banjo today. I need, I need a banjo. Okay, well, Jamie and I, um, I guess with the two founding members, we are a married couple. Uh, how many years? I don't know, 16, 17, something like that. And back in, we lived in Tallahassee, Florida in our earlier years. And Jamie was going back to school at Florida State University and he had already, he always played guitar. And then I needed a hobby. I felt like I was, I just needed something to do. And we attended a bunch of music festivals and I got very inspired to play banjo. So I picked that up one day. And then we moved back to Ohio in um, 2017. 2007 and kind of had to start over with our musical roots i mean we all we still played but we just didn't have the music community that we had down in florida we played on the front porch a lot then we started doing open mics as we were able to leave the kids open mics turned into requests to do some more formal gigs so we did park street festival as a trio with one of our friends and then from there that led us into an invitation to Duck Creek Fall Camp Out. And that's when we got the formal band together. Like, all right, all right this is when we need a band. We did go through this, like, who are we um, phase where we would go to our fans and say, what do you hear when you hear us? And what comes to your mind? And because bluegrass people have a, I think they have a idea on their head of what that is. They either love it or they either don't, or they have this 1930s driving and that's all you hear. But we are songwriters which folk songwriters, you know, singer songwriters. So that's one component. And then bringing in the, what we learned is old time music more than bluegrass. It was, it was fiddle songs more than bluegrass, really. So if we merge all that together, we came up with the term folk grass. Um, the first song I ever wrote, I think I wrote, the, well, no, we kind of both did the, on No More Wine to the Weekend. It was about Jamie's mother, my mother-in-law. And it was kind of when, that's when we kind of realized, be careful what you say around us, because we'll probably make a song about it. Because we listen for creative things that people say, or yeah. what they do, and then that's kind of when that whole thing started, is she, she said one day, oh, I can't, I'm trying not to drink wine to the weekend. So that started a whole, a whole song. So when we play that live, I say, you know, my mother-in-law wrote this, so I just put music to it. Jen and I, we, we play a lot of music, and it, um, sounds beautiful to us but when it sounds beautiful to other people then it is so much better yeah mm -hmm. makes it worth it yeah. <laughs> yeah. for whatever reason I, I lose my voice a lot so and nerves i have a nervous tick i think and i lose my voice and it was our album release and my voice completely shut down like three songs in i was like i can't sing anymore and it did not ruin the moment like all the guys stepped up and sang we we shifted our um set list a little bit or eric sang one of my songs he knew all the words or i'd yell them out to him and he'd sing them so that whole show like even though i didn't have a voice and i couldn't perform as i wanted it actually the silver lining was learning how we are as a group and how we can step up and fill in for each other and then that night we kind of stepped off stage and did some unplugged stuff for the audience and it was just really magical